What's up guys, we're looking at the Florian Racer 250 quadcopter. Now this is a ready to fly kit, everything is included from, you have the quadcopter, we have a battery, we have a battery charger, we have the transmitter, we have a FPV monitor so we can view uh, footage directly from the camera, uh, 5.8 gigahertz, and everything is included. We have the, uh, the transmitter here, um, the transmitter antenna, I'm sorry, but everything is included. Now, a lot of people have seen the Eashin 250, and this is, it's basically identical except for uh, some of the components that it uses. They stepped up some of the components, and um, so there's the ESCs. The ESCs are kind of hidden right here in between the arms. They are uh, 20 amps. The, the Eashin ones were 12 amps. And also the LED on the back, I believe the LED on the back is, it's like a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger. I don't know if it's, you know, necessarily brighter. It's gotta be brighter. I don't know. But anyway, it takes up like the whole back, uh, which is pretty sweet. And then also the flight controller on the Eashin, they use the CC3D flight controller on the, on the Florian, uh, they use the NASA 32. So those are basically the differences, same motors. Um, but yeah, now for the quad, I think this quad, first off, it's got lights here on the front um, and they're pretty bright lights. Even during the day when I was flying, um, you know, a lot of bright lights, once you, you know, you're so far away, you can't really see them. These things are just, they're really bright. And if you fly this thing at night and it's coming at you, it's, it's like blinding. Uh, same thing for the LED on the back. It's very bright. Um, even in very direct sunlight, I was able to see it. So it's good if you're flying uh, line of sight so you can, you know, tell which one is the front and which one is the back. Um, let's just look around the quadcopter here. I said, you know, you got these uh, flashlight type LEDs on the front. Then you have the camera. The camera is not adjustable. Uh, maybe you might be able to modify it and tilt it up a little bit, but other than that, it points straight forward. Uh, a lot of people like to tilt them up for these racing quadcopters, so that way when you're flying, um, it you know it's more of a straight angle view for you. Uh, it comes with two sets of propellers uh, to put put on the propellers that is twist on and off. You put like a screwdriver, an Allen wrench. They include two Allen wrenches. So if you need to do any repairs or modifications, you can do that. You just kind of stick an Allen wrench through there and you can, um, you know, put on and off the props. Uh, this is the transmitter antenna right here. Just sits right here on top. It will unscrew, but uh, it sits right here, like in the middle of the frame. So if you wanted to use a bigger battery than the one included or a longer battery, uh, you'll either, you probably have to just kind of mount the battery on the bottom, which, you know, a lot of people do, I see anyway. Uh, this is a little mount here for a GoPro or a camera. It just kind of, it's like a dampener. It will kind of take out the vibrations from the, uh, the footage. And yeah, on the back, we have the, the Dean's connectors, which is nice, and they kind of built it right here into the frame, so uh, it kind of minimizes on, you know, if it's moving around or whatnot. I've added some Velcro here to the bottom of the battery and also to the frame of the quadcopter, and that just helps to secure it into place, and if you have a wreck, it won't, you know, pop off or anything like that. Uh, also, if we look right here, there's a little button, and if you push that button, it actually, there's an on-screen display that will show, show a voltage um, and your flight time, and you can push this, and what it does, it kind of adjusts it down the screen, and then it will actually turn it off. I don't know why you want to turn it off, but you do have that option. And also for the lights, you can turn the lights on and off by this little switch down here. And that just turns the lights on and off if you want to conserve battery power. Now the actual body itself, like the center part here, is made from a carbon fiber. And the arms are actually like a hard plastic. Now I've crashed this a few times and I mean I haven't had any issues. But with them being plastic, I don't know why they didn't go carbon fiber. That would have been cool um, if they were carbon fiber. But other than that, uh, the the charger that comes with it, it's a B3AC, and it is a wall charger, so you can plug this directly into your wall. Uh, and the transmitter that comes with it is the FlySky, and this is a pretty 
popular uh, transmitter. It's the FSI6. Um, so just, yeah. And then they include the monitor. This allows you to see, you know, what your quad is flying. And at first when I was turning it on, it was a little tricky for me, but you actually just hold this down for just like exactly one second and then let go and it will turn on. And also when I first uh, turned this thing on, it was in Chinese. So I had to go to the menu. Oh. And you want to go down, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six down. And you want to hit OK when you get down there and then switch that over to English. And then you can see, you know, everything. You can scan, um, you can adjust the color, the contrast, the brightness, and uh, the frequency here and the group. It's pretty easy to navigate. You just use these buttons here. And then you would just hit OK, and then you can go through the different groups, different channels, and hit Menu, and it goes away. So this is, a, like like I said, everything is included. Um, the battery is a Florian, 1500 milliamp hours, 1 1.5. Um, so you can use four cell batteries on this as well, which will give you probably, you know, faster speeds and a little more punch um, but besides that what do i think about it i think it is a great quadcopter for um, people who are getting into racing uh, if you've had flown quadcopters before like the toys and uh, you know you're just wanting to get into something that is um, a little bit more aggressive and the style where you know you can obviously change out these components if you want to you can tune the PID settings there's a lot you can do there's a lot of potential with this quadcopter and the price on this thing is really um, it's it's really great like right now I think yesterday it was like two hundred and forty dollars now it's like two hundred and fifty or two hundred and sixty dollars but I remember my first FPV monitor I bought maybe like two years ago was like two hundred dollars alone and then the quad just alone without like a receiver or camera or a camera transmitter was like 230 so everything is here and it's a great package to uh to start out with all right guys real quick before i go out and fly i didn't want to show you me actually setting this up this is how you set would set it up directly out of the box this is how it, it worked for me um so i haven't done any tuning on the computer uh or plugged it into clean flight i believe that's the one that you're going to use for this just plug in the quadcopter and now on the transmitter let me go ahead and turn that on now there's this toggle right here and there's three different uh, modes uh, the first one is the most stable second one is not as stable you have a little bit more control third one is full manual so if you're just flying learning to fly keep it in that upper position and also all the other ones in the upper position um, and also let's turn on the monitor here and there is a scan option we could hit OK otherwise if you know oops what channel it's on I can go through oops darn it it's kind of hard doing this one hand So there is the, the camera. And another thing is these antennas right here are not the best for um, quadcopters and you know the, the video receivers because uh, they just don't work good. I don't, they, uh, you need like a mushroom antenna. You can get these for like $6. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for one. But anyway, to arm the quadcopter, for ready to take off, you just have the uh, left stick down into the right, and it will arm. And to disarm, down into the left. Okay, let's go fly. Here we go.
All right, guys, let's do a go ahead, uh, do a punch test first. So I have it in the stabilizing mode right now. I'm gonna go ahead, roll left, roll right. And yeah. A little quad. The lights on this thing are super nice too. Like you can easily see this thing. Whoa. Let's try, uh, not very good at these quite yet, but I'm gonna put it in the, uh, the second mode here. Try to do some flips here. Oh, that was a little, uh, a little obnoxious. Let me try it here again. Oh. Okay, there's the little uh, crash test. Something else I did want to point out about the uh, the camera is that it responds very well to light. You can see I'm going dark here and then light. So it, it makes the adjustments for you, which is pretty sweet. Whoa. Go ahead, uh, there you go. Still working on the flips. Like I said, I'm not like a pro by any means. I'm just, I love flying these things. I want to get better at them. So yeah. Oh. It's almost when I'm looking into this thing, it's like I'm uh, get blinded by the front lights there. You see, uh, so yeah. Do one more quick little loop here. Take a quick look at the the sunset.
that's uh, the end of the battery there. So there you go, the Florian Racer 250, a really nice quad for beginners or people who are more intermediate, kind of moving from uh, kind of like the toy quads, want to get into the racing quad. This is an all-in-one package, like everything you need is included, which is really nice. You don't got to install parts, you don't got to track down parts um, or figure out which components work with each other. It's all there and it's ready to go. So I'll put a link in the description, check that out, and thanks for watching. Whoa.